This is a quick video to show how we recommend doing the intake area on a Wattscraft when you've got plastic installed. So this is the, um, imagine the um, outlet of the intake here, this is the inlet of the intake here, and there's no grill showing, but this is where the grill goes, the ASB grill. So this is the hull, this is the plastic, and this is the steel around here. And I recommend rebating the steel with a little router and you just um, bring that steel down to it's almost flush with the plastic there it's a three mil steel generally and about 25 millimeters wide now the steel helps protect this area around the, um, the intake and then behind the grill and it's just the bare aluminium hull behind there. There's no plastic or steel or anything else. And that just means that any excess water can escape. There's nothing to get snagged on. Um, you don't want to step from the grill up to the back here because if you have a time where there's wa the water's, um, the pump's sucking a lot of water and you throttle off and you have water trapped in here, you can get handling issues. It can push the back of the boat up, things like that. So we just leave a tunnel with aluminium here, behind here, and nothing else. At the front you've got, you make up some sort of frame, this is flush with the plastic again, this steel. And you can bend or weld in a little ramp that leads nicely into the aluminium ramp on the grill, just here. Imagine that alloy ramp's just there, and you just weld up this gap here in real life. This is just a CAD model. And in terms of bolting it on, um, you can run the uh, M8 bolts through the intake foot, through the hull, through the intake block, through the plastic, and then through the steel. So you've got five or six M8 bolts down each side. One, two, three, four. You can countersink the steel to suit them and go all the way countersunk bolt all the way from through the steel, plastic, intake block, hull, and intake, and then anywhere in the area in between up here and towards the back where you don't have those M8 bolts from the intake holding the steel down, you can then just put M6 bolts in here. Out the back, the M6 bolts can go right through and have nuts on the top, and in the um, grill area, the M6 bolts can just be tapped into the hull and intake block and they're countersunk in as well to hold, the, hold it in there. But having that surround around the plastic there makes that nice and strong and you don't get the plastic being torn up and ripped out. Um, if it's just plastic on the edge, unprotected edge of plastic, there it's not ideal. You, know, you get sort of uneven areas and all sorts of things. That's how we recommend doing it. Hopefully that's clear enough on the CAD model. Thanks.